One of the ways a hacker will attempt to break into your WordPress site is by trying to guess your administration login, username, and password. Now they'll do this by using a software program that can guess hundreds of possibilities in minutes. And if you're not using strong usernames or unguessable passwords, then your site's about to be hacked. They call this a brute force attack. In some cases, the sheer number of guesses the hacker software is allowed to go through can put such a load on your server's resources that your hosting company might even shut your site down. Now, even though the shutdown might be temporary, your site is still down, and this is not a good thing. In addition to having strong usernames and passwords, you also need to be able to prevent the brute force attack from happening at all. Luckily, it's super simple and can be taken care of with the installation and activation of a free plugin. There are several plugins that will make it difficult to brute force attack your site, but this one is simple and lightweight, meaning it does not suck up tons of your server's resources nor slow your site down. The name of this plugin is Limit Login Attempts. Yep, I think the name says it all. So let's go ahead and log into our dashboard area and install this plugin. Once you're logged in, then you come on over here to the dashboard area or actually you want to come on down to the plugins area so we can install a new plugin. But before we get things rolling, let me go ahead and pull in my timer here so I can show you just how fast we can do this. Go and get the timer started. Come on over here to plugins, click on add new. And we're going to install the limit login attempts plugin. Yep, right there. And click on search plugins. And it should be the top one that pops up here. Yep, right there. Click on Install Now. Click on OK. And once it's installed, we want to activate it. Just click that link there. And once it's activated, come on down here to the Settings panel. Come on down to the new link that's been installed. That's the log. That's the Limit Login Attempts link. Click on that. And here are the settings. Now then, since I've been playing with this, there's my IP address right there by default there's not going to be anything there and this is not going to show up because well there's nothing to reset but the other items in here are pretty well okay just the way they are you can adjust them the number of allowed retries so if somebody screws up four times and tries to do it on a fifth time they're locked out and it will show them in a red box right above the login that you've got 19 minutes or 20 minutes before the next login attempt will, will be working and if after four of these lockouts have happened they're going to be logged out or locked out rather for 24 hours frankly myself I would change this to like 700 some odd hours I don't want them back because if they are a legitimate login or a legitimate user and they just simply screwed up 16 times I mean then something's wrong there they're trying something fishy so really in my experience if they've been unable to log in for three or four times they're gonna send me an email now if that has not happened then it just tells me they're probably not a legitimate user so yeah I would definitely bump this up to enough hours to where they're not gonna bother me again and the other thing that I would adjust is right here I would like to be notified by email if after a certain number of logouts or lockouts have taken place the email that they're gonna send this to is the administration email that's set up in your WordPress install and obviously with this box ticked here the IPs of those that have failed to log in are going to show up down here and that's basically it now if for some odd reason you have as the administrator not remembered your password or you screwed something up let me show you what happens let me get this guy out of the way here let's go ahead and log out and then try to log in with something other than what's proper and try this now and there you see you get this box that pops up and you've got three more attempts before it really messes things up so if you can't remember your administrator login credentials in four attempts well you probably ought to just give up altogether but if you want to you can go into your cPanel or FTP account and just kinda disengage that plugin come on down to file manager look for that plugin and just rename it and that's in the wp-content directory open that up in the plugins directory open that up and right here just rename it I just put a number or something after the end of it like one it's basically change the name of it 
and then come on back here refresh continue and then you just type in the actual username because you can see that you're not limited by the time factor anymore but as soon as you activate that plugin again by renaming it back to the way it should be then the remainder of that amount of time is going to be ticking down and that's it that's how you can get back in if you forget your own stuff uh, as an administrator and that's how you can block out the bad guys and gals from attempting to brute force attack your site using the simple plugin called limit login attempts thanks for watching and you have a great day